Yo, it's Taylor Bennett and you're live with Lyrical Lemonade. Let's go. Reach for your goal, say what you're told. Think that you know, see what you're shown. Watch it get old, watch it get sold. Teach what you learn, speak what you heard. Hear what you're told, nothing but words. Watch it get old. It only gets old Teach what you learn Nothing but words Just like this verse Reach for the air Fall to the dirt Damn know that hurt Watch it get old Speak what you heard Hear what you told I worked on uh, Mainstream music Which was my last album And then in the midst of that I worked on a couple songs I uh, in a, As a whole catalog I think I made about 150 songs Um but a couple of those songs, just a couple, not even the good ones, uh, got leaked on um, this, this uh, on, I forget what the name of it, uh, on a Reddit, it was on like a Reddit page or something like that. And it was a couple of my songs and it started blowing up. And I mean, they were good, but I mean, I wish that like, they were like better mixes, you know what I'm saying? Or, they weren't really that good of quality. Uh, but after a while, they were blowing up so much, I just decided I was going to put it on my uh, SoundCloud. Just release those four songs. So I think it was uh, a song called Camp Flop, a song called Me and You, um, a song called um, I'm Coming Down, and uh, a song called um, Family Gotta Eat. And there, there was pretty dope, uh, some pretty dope tracks, you know what I'm saying? They were really, really different. Um, and I mean, as I was working on more music, all I could think about was like, well, you know, now I got these songs out here, these are, you know what I'm saying, this is kind of what people are thinking that I'm working towards, or this is kind of what I'm doing, so I was making a lot of songs that kind of sound like those songs, and then, you know, it wasn't, I was just working on a lot of music, it wasn't, they, they weren't, they weren't really easy to, you know what I'm saying, put together. They weren't like some tracks that you could throw like 13 together and make like a good album. And I, I really was focused on making an album. And then I ended up meeting this producer, um, Ludlow, of course, who produced the whole Broad Shoulders project. Uh, and he had some amazing beats and we ended up, you know what I'm saying, just sitting down. I was working on a new song every day. and. I mean, just writing about different topics and really just stretching where I could go as an artist and what I could do and really testing the limits of the ability uh, of creating music. So, I mean, that's that's basically it, you know what I'm saying? We just really uh, worked our asses off and, you know, we put so much time into the production and to so much time into the writing and making sure that, you know, the words flowed right and, you know, in the mixing it, we went to wall to wall studios. That's like where uh, Rolling Stones and <coughs> Madonna have recorded, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, so you know what I'm saying? We, we, we really put a lot of work into it. So it was a huge transformation process uh, from my last album and my past work. Uh, it's really a lot of hard work. Times like I mean, I really just, you know what I'm saying? I wanted my fans to take out just growth uh, from the situation, you know what I'm saying? I wanted them to, um, you know what I'm saying, listen to my music, and that, that that's always been something I've always said in interviews, and I've always said, you know, the way that I feel about my music is I want to give my listeners and my audience a chance to experience things without having to go through the whole process of, you know, all this happens. I want them to, you know, learn from listening to music, you know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, not an easy thing to do because, you know, like nobody's just going to listen to one person. You know, you don't even listen to your own parents half of the time. You, you, you know, you're around my age. So uh, it's really crazy, but I mean, that's always been a goal. So with Broad Shoulders, it was even that more in depth because the whole project is about growth and it's about love and it's about hate and it's about being sad and it's about growing up and, you know what I'm saying, just uh, it's just about life, it's about making the next step uh, and, you know what I'm saying, moving forward into the future, so, um, you know, like, if my audience could take away anything, I would want them to take away an experience, I want them to take away a story, I want them to take away something that's me. Don't take me here, don't give me that, and you bought it. My favorite track off the tape, um, I would probably say is, uh, I mean, it changes in every interview, I'm sorry, but... Uh, right now, it's feeling featuring Max and um, my homegirl uh, Cash from Philly, 
and it's just really deep and kind of personal song and you know what I'm saying it just talks about the uh, the reality of dating and you know being in the world where you're still trying to learn what your counterpart wants from you in the situation and you know what I'm saying and you're trying to figure out you know is it clothes is it time is it you know what I'm saying going to the movies is it going out with you and your homies to parties is it whatever you know what I'm saying and uh it's just like a really crazy song because you get really in detail on it, you know what I'm saying? I switch the perspectives from, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's like really personal to me too because, you know, I'm talking from like past exes and, you know what I'm saying, different just relationships and like general, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and just experiences that I've had, so, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, it's a pretty surreal song. I wanted it to be very relatable <clears throat> to everyone and that's even another reason why I decided to talk from a male and a female perspective on that song. I, with this project, the goal was to try to make something that's cool for both sexes to be able to listen to, you know what I'm saying? And I think uh, I did a pretty decent job with that. But, uh, yeah, so you know what I'm saying, that's the talk from like multiple different perspectives, but, I mean, just, I don't know, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just, you know, I want my fans to, you know what I'm saying, be able to relate, listen, love, understand, and you know what I'm saying, just never forget type shit. I learned a lot of things. Uh, this is funny, I think this is a Kanye quote, and I think he said it after, I believe it was about 808s and Heartbreak. He was like, I learned that I love to sing, I love, uh, and I feel the same way. Quick bars, and you know what I'm saying, I can rap and I can really tell stories, and I can get into detail on music, and you know what I'm saying, I can try to, like, I can almost paint a picture with, you know what I'm saying, how many lyrics I can feel, and it's always, for me, you know what I'm saying, been about making sure that I give as much of myself as I possibly can on every track, so I'm always squeezing words, and I guess with this tape, you know what I'm saying, I slowed it down, and I decided, like, you know what I'm saying, I really gotta, I wanna make something that's impactful, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times, you know, like a lot of people say, actions speak louder than words, you know what I'm saying, like the slightest things, can make way more of an impact than, you know what I'm saying, like uh, the big examples or whatever you can give. So I really slowed down the music and I really just kind of got to, you know what I'm saying, know myself, uh, I think, and, you know, relate and like actually get deep with my music and like, you know, with this project I recorded at Up North Studios, so I was really all, you know what I'm saying, in the studio by myself, I didn't have to worry about other sessions coming in. It wasn't like super distracting. It was like a good home environment where I could just listen to production for hours, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and just work on it and you know, like make the best music that I possibly could. And I mean, that's like the best experience ever. So I learned a lot about myself. I pushed myself to different limits, you know what I'm saying? Like, you no know, courses, it's like my, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I uh, got my LLC together and you know I got Tape and Entertainment and you know what I'm saying me and, and uh, Up North Music, you know what I'm saying, got together to do distribution with Tune Core, you know what I'm saying. Um, we, you know what I'm saying, my executive produced this project with Up North <clears throat> and my manager Joseph KB co like co executive produced the project. So I mean, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot that's going on that a lot of people can see and can see. You know, this is a 100% sample-free project. You know, we got it on every platform from Apple Music to iTunes to Spotify, right on the Discovery page. We've got great placement. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's crazy, you know? Like, we've... Uh, I've, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned, you know what I'm saying? Like, limits I can push myself to, you know what I'm saying? I learned that, like, I'm a businessman, you know what I'm saying? I walked in the uh, Rolling Stones with a suit on for an interview, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that shit cold, you know what I'm saying? I'm 19, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many, you know what I'm saying? From the south side of Chicago. It's, you know, but it's just dope, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed, and uh, it's just, I, I learned a lot about myself, man. I just can't wait to, you know, put out even more music and just keep growing, you know? Let's celebrate. Smoking in a whip right now, tryna cut the lick right now. Mama on the phone pipe down, but the party too lit right now. She gon' have a fit right now. I I no time for this right now. This